What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new episode, a new video series, The Fisherman Fishing Planet. I thought I'd bring this uh, as we like to focus on the outdoor gaming uh, to the channel. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, pretty much this game is identical to Fishing Planet, except it has all the DLCs um, with it already. So that's really the only main difference, but it plays uh, pretty much identical to it. All right, let's go ahead and we'll build a quick character here. Well, he's got a little twitch there, didn't she? I think we'll do that one there. Skin color. Give her a little tan, and uh, let's do some blue eyes. Not that you're ever going to see them, but uh, let's see here. We'll do the ponytail, just because we can. Yeah, let's see, she's got black on, blue or green. Let's stick with black. All right, here we go. And we'll have to go through the tutorial as usual, but it uh, shouldn't be anything too painful. We all have uh, watched the tutorial once or twice in our lives, so it'll give you guys a real good feel of how the game works, how the game plays, and uh, if you guys enjoy it, you know, go out and grab it. All right. Approach the shoreline. Use the WSAD keys. You got it. Oh. Didn't quite make it to the ring. Wasn't close enough to the shore. You can tell I'm used to being able to toss that out there myself. Wait for a fish to bite. Might take a while. All right, we got our first fish. Going to release that one. Make a few more casts, catch some more fish. All right. All right, playing with it out there. The golden shiner, not too bad. Mission continues, catch another one. All right. You can zoom in with the Z, oh, it used to be the Z key. Not sure what it is now. The let us know here in a minute. Still playing with it, whatever it is. There we go. Green sunfish. Nice. Time for the real catch. Open the inventory and change your bait for bigger fish. Okay. Drag and drop red uh, red worms bait. Easy enough. Go to the shop, get a fish keeper. Tools and equipment. The fish hut XS. All right. We're just like I said, we're just following through the tutorial here. So we're going to go to the middle of the bridge. Cast our bait to their lilies there. Okay, so now they're going to teach us how to move the float up and down. 
Got to go to 19 inches here. No. Went down an inch too far, or a centimeter too far. Now we got to wait for it. We've got a nice fish there. Trophy white crappie. Yeah, we'll definitely keep that. And let's see what we've got here. So we're up to level two. We got fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, one gold bait queen. We've unlocked uh, hooks number six, the Callisto X XSR one thousand, the Hobby Gear, the Oval Float, Mono point zero zero five. A couple of those. Wind cast fifteen hundred. The fish. So we unlocked quite a bit there. So we're going to open our map to continue our adventure. Okay. Now we're going to leave. Check out our results here. And we've got an achievement called Tight Lions. Drive your boat pack. Trophy catch pack. And get another bait coin for that. So, new mission Lone Star welcomes you with all its air of peace and tranquility anytime. Let's head over there right now and learn and master the gase, <laughs> the game basics of fishing. Oh my. So, the details if we want to look. So, we're going to travel there. We're going to enter the home sweet home location. Use the sprint. We're going to learn how to uh, fish near the bridge. And you can see there. So we're going to go back to the map here. Click on the Lone Star. Travel to the Lone Star Lake, which is where we were just at. All right, we're ready to go fishing again here. And we completed a challenge here, the Lone Star Ranger. Another $100 there. Kind of gives you a, a quick overlay of what everything does. What was the zoom key anyway? Let's see here. Wow, it's not... Do we not have one anymore? We used to. Let's see. Pitch on and off. Constant inventory, line break, choose rods. Hut on or off. I don't see it. All right, well. Hold down the shift key, it sprints for you, so. Turn off the mission hints if you wish, but push the escape key. Not track the mission, but we're not going to do that. Looks like we have somebody already up here that will be uh, fishing near. And just like that, we completed that little mission, and we picked up the advanced Texas license. Fish activity uh, usually depends on the weather and time of day. Study the weather forecast and bite charts. And learn to use the fast forward time function to ensure the best possible fishing conditions. The higher the curve chart, the more active fish will be at that time. So if we complete this, get another $220, another bait coin, and some crickets. So let's see if there's anything else. We just want to look at the time. Let's take a look at the weather. So for today, it looks like we have a peak right around 6, and another peak right around 8. And then, uh, let's see here, day 2 doesn't peak till about 1 o'clock, it looks like. Alrighty, now we know. So we're going to afford it to 6 a.m., which is, uh, it's really already there. <laughs> so. Alright, we got that mission.
Uh, different lures attract different fish in different ways. I uh, try using crickets to catch a red ear sunfish. It's a particular taste for insect baits. These fish go out to feed closer to the shore near lily pads. You'll need a keep net to keep your catch and sell it at the end of the day. I think we have everything. Yep, we do. Okay. So we're going to go to the inventory, we're going to swap out to the crickets, back to the map, and we're going to do some fishing. And, of course, now we begin our wait. Oh, there's $64 for that. We'll keep him. And we picked up that mission now. Time to check out where you master these new skills. Go and catch five fish of any kind in spots you already know. The reward you'll get at the end of the day for the fish will you catch will provide you with more resources for future travel and new tackle. I don't think it has any. It just says five fish, so alrighty. So we'll pitch it back out there again. See what else we can catch. It is the Z key, it just they had it blocked from us. Yeah, well, let's see, we got us another red ear sunfish. And we've just opened up the Lesney Villa Fishery in the Czech Republic. Uh, unlock some more gear, chubby bobber, number four, number two hooks, the value spin rod, the mini spin, the mono, and the fluorocarbon, and a couple of casting spoons, cheese camel vests, a lot of good stuff, look at all that. Nice. Alrighty. So let's go ahead, let's cast it over here and see what we can get over here. Maybe there's something a little different. another oh, white crappie this time. Nice. Lucky bobber number one. So we'll pitch back over onto this side. If you watch the water closely enough, you can actually sometimes see the fish swimming right up to the bait. It's quite interesting to watch. Alright, we'll just sit here and wait here for a moment. And we're starting to get a nibble. Yeah, this time we caught us a bluegill. Nice. Another $30 there. And we'll swap back over to this side. And wait for that hit here. Nibbling at it. Set the hook, and what do we got? Green sunfish. Nice. And we'll do our last fish over here. And let's see how long it takes to get us a bite here. Obviously, the tutorial, it's a little more sped up than if you were uh, fishing outside of the tutorial, So, but it's still the same principles. All right, come on now, fish. Don't keep everybody waiting. There we go. Another white crappie. 
Let's take a look at our keep net. You can see it could tell you everything you caught, when it was caught, how much they weigh, how much they're worth, and experience. Okay, so now we gotta go back to the local map. And our mission's accomplished there, picked up some dough balls. Assemble a sinker rig. Let's assemble the tackle for bottom fishing on the Lesney Vila fishery. Always remember to upgrade your keep net to have more room for fish storage and make your fishing trips more profitable. You can sell your catch at the end of the day or when you leave the waterway. Keep in mind that you can switch your keep net only in the menu on the global map. So, kind of give us a hint to buy the next one up there. Take a look at the details here. So we're going to go over there, we're going to get the rod case, get another keep net, stringer net, select a free rod slot. Okay, so it'll walk us through that here. So we're going to leave, yep, for sure. Made another $278 there on the lake as well, on top of our rewards. And you can see the challenges that we picked up there on this uh, trip. All right, so we're going to go to rod cases. And we're going to buy the triple case. And we're also going to get the next keep net that we can, which is the Fish Hut S. Um, the reason I didn't get the S Plus is because uh, what I've read is you want to, in this version, you want to keep all your bait coins that you can. So, all right, so we're going to go ahead and we've got two slots here. So we want to get the Creek Pro 240. Get a mini spin 1200. And we need to get the 7. And then the 4.4 .4 liter. Okay, now we need to buy a sinker. Number six hook. Pearl barley, huh? All right. We'll just cut it for that length. Add the sinker, add the leader, and then we're going to add our hook, add our pearl barley, and we are where we need to be. Before we do that, we need to go and, and make sure we enable our new fishnet. Let's see here. Eight pounds. What's this one? So we'll upgrade that. Uh, as you can see, I have the the other things here too, but I'm not going to put those into this tutorial. So we're going to treat this as if the uh, DLCs weren't in play. So so now we got to rotate the globe here, and we're going to Lesney. Oh, we don't have a fishing license. Better go get one. And we're ready to travel. Let's take a look at the weather. So peak is right at the beginning, both days. It's going to cost us $60 for one day. So it's going to start us on the other side fishing plot there, so. And now we have another challenge complete on the Lesney Villa Watcher 1. Okay, 
I'm to the bone fully prepared to catch local fish. Sink Creek is great to catch fish near the bottom. Pearl barley is a good choice for attracting coarse fish, which are carps. Um, carp species, I should say. All you need is to cast the right spots to the right spot and wait for the bite. What do they want us to catch? Catch three fish. All right. Aim for the spot, throw it in the spot. We can clip the line if we want to. Now this is because we're not actually feeder fishing, we don't have the alarm like we normally would. Oh, really? Oh, they want us to do that. Alrighty, so we'll reel in here like it says. It's kind of funny, they make you cast out there and just reel it right back in. Yeah, right back in the water. So now we're actually going to start the fishing process here. So we just got to watch our tip there. And we've hooked into our first fish here. So it's telling us we can adjust, uh, set the drag to four. Okay. Did that by just pushing that plus sign just one time. Always want to go opposite of the fish to keep the, mount, uh, the most pressure on it so you can tire them out more quickly. Looks like it might be a crucian. Putting up a nice little fight. It's always kind of fun. You can see, uh, I don't have the professional thing on yet. Um, we'll probably that should show that in later episodes. This is basically the, the basic HUD here. Should be getting a little tired here in a moment. There we go. And what do we get? Young Maricarp. Nice. $182 for that. And let's see, we're now level 4. $1,500 cash, another bait coin. Unlocked the Mudwater River. And as you can see, we picked up some additional tackle and gear. Looks like some baits and rods as well. Nice. Fish hut M now. Excellent. So you know, then this uh, in this version of Fishy Planet, it seems like uh... oh, didn't need to reel in like that. Um, oh, let's see here. Try getting your on snag by jerking to keep your tackle. There we go. Looks like it's a little bit smaller fish here, but that's all right. We'll take them anyway. What did we catch? Little 
compression carp. All right, let's catch one more here. Rail in the line at first speed. You can zoom in and look at the quiver. Looks like you're getting a bite there. It's not the same when you're holding it versus when you put it on a rod pod and when you do that it automatically tightens the line for you. Get a nibble there. This fish isn't quite so certain he wants to bite, I guess. <laughs> He's making us work for it. Kind of grabs it, and then he drops it. Usually that's an indication it's a smaller fish that can't grab the bait off the, the larger hook. So... There we go. This will be our third fish and uh, should complete this challenge. It's like a roach. Yep, common roach. Very nice. And we've earned the advanced fishing license now. Or unlocked it, I should say. Uh, assemble a spinning setup. Okay. When you make your when you make a purchase, the item automatically goes in your backpack as long as there's enough space. If your backpack is full, the purchase item will go to your home storage. Try moving the items from your home storage to your backpack and learn to equip the tackle in the correct order. So, alrighty, easy enough. So we've got to go back to the global map now. All right, we'll go to our inventory, and we need the elemental 6-7, huh? Okay, and the reel is the InspireCast 2000. And let's see here, inventory. And 50 yards. We'll do 150 on this one. OK, 
Okay. Auto seven, huh? Let's see, equip the model seven to 165 feet. All right. And we're going to equip the one six ounce spoon, huh? Alrighty. So we're heading to Mudwater River next here. Have the basic Missouri license, travel there. We're going to go to the last Songs of Summer location and get the optimal time for the bites. Well, let's spin the globe here again. We'll get our license. Back to the map we go. Let's take a look at our time. It looks like right around one. Two is the actual peak time. It looks like for three is actually probably three. Two, between two and three. And again on the second day, it's like at two o'clock again. $600 to travel here for a single day license. Should be fairly easy here. Yep, we already checked the weather, so. The Mudwater Explorer Challenge. So we're gonna go to the T, and here it says 10, even though 10 is still pretty, pretty early. Out of the bone, fully prepared to catch local fish. So we're going to learn the straight retrieve here. Retrieve techniques is the next step to landing your trophy. Master the straight retrieve and you'll see that fish will be motivated to attack your lure. The better your technique, the more predators you will attract since your lure will imitate small fish. And it should just be pretty much what we're doing. Make a cast. Reel with maximum speed. Perform a straight retrieve. Okay. Should be easy enough. Last songs of summer. Looks like this guy might be uh, doing some float fishing, looks like. Retrieves are you generally used to make the lure resemble a weak or injured fish. Make a cast near the reeds to get started. So the straight retrieve just uh, keeps that lure right at the surface, as you can see. So there we go. Set the drag to five, huh? Been a lot. He's put quite a bit of stress on our line there, but that's all right. Looks like we got us some bass. We keep him for sure. So we're going to open the tablet now. Yep, 
And yes, we want to set a mark for the last fish. Close the tablet. All right, we got that one done. New retrieve. Time to learn the stop and go retrieve. It imitates the movement of a small fish through the water current and drives predators crazy. Read the hints that will appear as you practice mastering this new retrieve. Head over to the Mudwater River for a few days and catch some more fish. Uh, so basically just the uh, stop and go is all it is. Okay. Time to learn the complex stop and go, which imitates movement of small fish swimming against the current. Start by making a cast in the marked spot. Reel in for a second. Pause for a second. Oh, I got a fish right off the bat. Very nice. A little bit smaller than the last one. Oh, that's a young one. That's why. All right. Well, it looks like you're a natural born angler, and now you successfully master more complex retreat. will help you land more and bigger fish. Let's see here. What's the mission want us to do now? Oh, we've completed it. So I guess we stay here fishing for a minute, it looks like. And we'll keep on rolling through here. I would imagine they want uh, us to catch fish until we get to level 5 would be my guess. Had a momentary pause there like we were getting a, a bite, but nothing was there. Oh, we had a fish right there. Right there as we were bringing it in. Looks like we got another bass on the line here. We will get him on in. All right, let's throw it back out there, see what else we can catch. Got another one coming at us now. This one might be a little bit bigger. This might be a regular largemouth bass. Let us see. Oh, just a young one. All right, let's drop that in here again.
Then you got a smaller fish. Nice. And how are we doing on our weight here? Looks like we're about halfway full on our basket there. I'm right here by the bank. Nice. Level 5, unlocked Rocky Lake. All right. So, try to figure out... Got the Lone Star trip. Those are all done. There we go. So it looks like we can go back and forth. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and track that mission here. Made some decent money there as well. All right, so let's see what we need to do here again on this one. So this one we need to still catch a blacktail shiner, a golden shiner. Okay. So let's take a look here. Fish species. So the blacktail shiner, if you click on it, it will tell you what the preferred baits are. So in this case, they prefer dough balls and semolina balls. And let's see here, the golden shiner also prefers dough balls and semolina balls. Okay, easy enough. So this is just going to have us do what we just did. So, let's see, small water, these minnows prefer flowing waters and it's usually abundant in areas with little vegetation and fast current. Center body, can be distinguished by its prominent black spot, base of the tail. Okay, and then if we go back down here, let's see what we get here. Um, North America, sole member of its genus, deep body, golden color with a dark Let's see here. Dark olive back. Little charters found in lakes, ponds, and prefer quiet waters with weedy areas. So they're going to be near weeds, whereas the other, not so much. Okay. Let's take a look at our weather. Partly sunny. It looks like our dips are at the beginning of the day and towards the end of the day. Okay. And then if we have a day two, if we need it, it just right about one o'clock. All right, so let's go ahead and we will head straight here. So what we'll do is we'll cast out here away from the weeds for the uh, blacktail shiner. Although, let's see here. So we do have dual balls, okay. And let's see here, let's change our leader back to leave it at 19 inches here for a second. 
And let's see what we can do here if we can catch one of these guys quickly. Oh, we got a personal record on that bluegill. Yeah, looks like we get another hit here. We may have to take the bobber down a little bit. When we first started the game, oh, we caught one of them. The blacktail shiner, there he is. All right, so now we're going to cast closer to this weed bed here and uh, see if we can get us a gold. Took uh, a little faster than I thought it was going to be. Another black tail. That's really shallow right there, apparently. See what we can get here in just a moment. It's like a bluegill. Hopefully we can pick this up fairly quickly as well. We got a bigger fish. Definitely not a gold. This is uh, definitely a bigger, bigger fish. This might be a smallmouth buffalo, actually. Definitely a good fight, that's for sure. These, these fish will definitely give you a fight. Make a run here. Yeah, we'll keep fighting them until we get them in. Yeah, I think this is a smallmouth buffalo. So, we'll keep fighting them until we get them in, though. Might take a minute or two with this lighter gear. He'll get tired here in a little bit. 
Usually, I, I have very rarely caught these on uh, float rods. Usually, it's when I'm bottom fishing. They uh, tend to filter to the bottom. So. Come on now. Looks like he's going to make another run here. Did he finally give up? Started swimming towards us. I think he's done now. Well, maybe not. <laughs> he saw us and decided to drop back down. He's thinking about it here. Then we get him into about 30 feet and he decides to run again. Definitely a good fight though. Definitely a good fight. I will take this kind of fight any day. There we go. Yep. Smallmouth buffalo. Almost three pounds. Nice. Now, let's see if we can get a cold tail shiner here. <laughs> Starting to get another nibble here. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Thousand dollars and uh, glow in the dark float. All right, try to set up some new uh, set up some new tackle setups. Let's see how a match rod works. Oklahoma said, well, match rod set up, then come to Rocky Lake, try and catch trout. Match rods are much more powerful than telescopic ones, which allows for making longer casts with the float tackle. Wow. Got lots to do on this one. So I think what we'll do is we'll do this as our last one and uh, wrap this uh, video episode up, but wanted to... Uh, Definitely get some fishing in for you guys. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so we're going to go to the shop. Camel vest. Tackle boxes. Oh, go buy a bigger keep net again. Okay. Inventory. Go to our home. Put the 
keep that. Oh. Let's make sure that that's there. Let's see. The vest is there. I'm not sure why. We got a pause there. Let's see, is that what this is? Yep. Okay, so we'll go to the shop. Go to the match rods. And we're going to buy the Omni Float. The Callisto 1400. Raid line this time, huh? All right. One out hook. So we're going to swap this out for our other line here. So let's go to our rods. Okay. So we need to move the Clisto back home. And then we need to put the 1400 in. Back to our backpack. And let's get the braid on there. I'm just going to leave it at a full spool. Let's put the chubby one on there instead of the... I think this one's the glow-in-the-dark one, isn't it? I guess not. This is just the regular chubby. And we're going to equip our shiners. Okay. Trophy size fish usually dwell on the bottom and come out to feed only at a certain time. Catching a trophy isn't just luck, but also requires preparation, like using a large hook and increasing the leader length. And definitely check the bite charts to know the right time for fishing. Bite chart, bite chart, bite chart. <laughs> Alright, so we got to go to get our license here. Just buying the basic. Back to the map. Let's check out our weather here. So it looks like our real peak isn't until about 6. six p.m. So. Alright, so we're going to go fish over here at Trout Galore. So we'll probably hit that peak, so we'll probably go to about, we'll start at 5. If you don't know how many fish they need us to catch. So we'll head over here to the water line. Okay. So this is 7 p.m. So they want us right in the peak, it looks like. So we've got to set our leader to 60. Okay. Let's see, it just is wanting to sketch a trophy. Track that, sorry. So let's get that back down to 60 here. Nope. Okay. Oh, wow. It's a long cast, all right. Can't even see the uh, flow from way out here. <laughs> we'll just have to watch the graph there in the upper right, so. All right, so now we need to bump up our drag to eight. Here it says. Okay. 
definitely going to be a fight on our hands for a minute. And we definitely want to make sure we keep pressure on the fish at all times because we're using a barbless hook. And uh, it's much easier for them to get off on that. So. So we'll keep swinging back and forth here, keeping the pressure applied. So fighting the fish actually is just as much art as trying to do presentation. So I always want to keep an eye on them. And sometimes I'll pump the rod, but when you're using a barbless hook, you really don't want to do that simply because anytime you let off any tension on that, the fish has an opportunity to get off the hook. So you want to make sure that you're always constantly applying that pressure. And the way he's fighting, he may be a trophy already. So he's just not maxing out our tension like I thought he would. Definitely pulling out the line again. Doing his best trying to throw the line. There we go. Wasn't a trophy, but he has a nice cutthroat. Nice. All right, we'll sit here and wait for another hit and see what, uh, what we can do here. It's like our bobber wasn't quite as deep as I thought it was originally. There, the shiner finally moved. All right, we'll back at it again here. Looks like it's going to be about the same size fish. Uh, you can usually tell on the indicator here. Usually a trophy will almost max out your strain on your line. Moving towards us there for a second. Moving right towards us. I think it's about at least on like this small. They can't. They can't spool you at least. So even though he's clear over on the other side of the lake, basically. All right. We'll keep up this fight and get him in here as quickly as we can.
That's right, swimming towards us again there. I think we've got him tired out now. Yep, there we go. Yeah, we got our first trophy. Let's go ahead and take a picture of that one so we can add it to the Discord. Uh, the way you take a picture is just simply push that P key once you've landed your fish. Um, you can kind of do some things here and zoom in a little bit. We'll zoom out, and then we want to go ahead and we're going to... Um, let's see here, let's move the fish. Details, put it right there. Field of view. Let's get it close up this way. There we go. And then once we're done, we'll just hide everything else. And we'll take that picture. There we go. And you just push P or escape to bring it back out. We'll definitely keep that $360 there. Sorry about that. I had a little cough there. Um, and you can see we've ranked up to six now, level six. And uh, got some more equipment available to us now. Which is wonderful. We finally got a single rod pod. That'll come out in handy. Some feeders. Nice. And let's see here. Congrats on catching the trophy. Keep in mind that live bait is effective for catching almost any predator. Alrighty. Well, I think everybody, I think that's going to be a great place to end this uh, first tutorial mission. Uh, we'll go ahead and pick this back up on the next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave me comments. Let me know what you thought about uh, the first few uh, tutorial missions here. And if uh, you guys are wanting to see more, definitely leave me those comments as well. But as usual, everybody, until next time, we'll wrap this one up and take care.